So it's very exciting to interview you again. We did the first interview, I think, in 96, 97, during the research for Cities on the Move, and I yes. came first to Japan. And, um, uh, and now we're in 2010 and we're in Venice. And I wanted to begin with the beginning and ask you um, if you can tell me about Atelier Bauau and how it all started. What was your epiphany at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Beginning? Um, beginning Atelier Bauau, so we met in a laboratory, Tokyo Institute of Technology, Sakamoto Lab. And then uh, we started to uh, participate in the competition the, as paperwork in Shinkenchiku. And then we won some, several times. And then uh, we started the, the, we, as a team. It would be nice to, uh, to do something <laughs> in architecture. So uh, we make a team and, the, and then we named the Atelier Bawa. And where did the name come from? Uh, my it's from his father. <laughs> his father is really strange. Ha, my fa half father. Ah, half father, sorry, <laughs> not his. Ha. Yeah, he's he's a kind of, he's a little bit childish, but uh, so he oh. trains. Oh, trains. <laughs> <laughs> so at that time, uh, he he had a baby dog, and uh, he always uh, um, called this dog uh, Ume One. Ume is a plum, and uh, One is. Uh, a Japanese uh, nickname for dog. And then he started to call everyone with one. So also me, uh, Tsuka one and Momo one. So everybody one with one. And then finally we start to call our Atrie one. <laughs> and then one means in Japanese, dogs barking sounds. And we, then we say, ba we say one one. One one, dogs barks, one one, one one. one, one, yeah. one. So, and then the so dogs bark. Bauwau. So and then in translate in English, they're starting to rename the Atelier Bauwau. And when you started, who were like your influences? Because I mean, in Venice this year, in Sejima's Biennale, um, there is Lina Bobardi who is revisited, Cedric Price, but also, um, of course, Shinohara, mm. with the Golden Lion. Mm. So these are pioneers. Uh, yesterday we interviewed Andrea Branzi, who is also part of the, um, of the Biennale. So I was wondering, who were your kind of heroes? Who were your inspirations, your influences when, um, when you started? Yeah, we were we studied under Professor Sakamoto, who was a, a student of Shinohara, and uh, he's a really good architect, and uh, we really we are very much influenced by Sakamoto. But uh, it's uh, we were also influenced by Shinohara because uh, uh, to understand uh, uh, Sakamoto, we have to understand Shinohara at first. And because uh, he's trying to make a kind of strategy to uh, criticize uh, formalism, started from 1970s. And uh, he opens a uh, new perspective for contemporary Japanese architecture, uh, especially, especially in the realm of uh, residential architecture. And uh, we are very much influenced by his thought. And uh, gradually we discovered several uh, foreign architects who are, we, we are very interested whom we are very in, in, interested in, like Rinaldo Bardi, Gioponti, Asprund, and uh, so the, these kind of architects. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bernard Rudowski is also very, very influential for us. So architecture without architects. Yes, yes. Yeah. This exactly. is a quite, uh, it's a, one of our goal to, to make a building without architect, by architect. Yeah.